Welcome back to Dr. Think and Shine's Neighborhood. I'm Judy Love Bowman, a.k.a. Dr. Think and Shine, America's lifeguard. And on this channel, we look through the governor's scholars and apply the Bible and social science to real life. We talk about hot topics, reality situations, and news. So if that sounds good and you'd like to see more videos like this, I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video so YouTube knows that it's interesting to you. Today, let's look at Teen Moms Ashley. I feel like Zuckerberg, I feel like Zuckerberg. I'd rather read, I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg, I feel like Zuckerberg. Hey, yes, we're looking at Ashley out there in California. My maternal grandmother was from the Bay Area in California, from Oakland. And I have relatives in San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Mateo, Richmond, and... San Francisco, yes. So Ashley and Barr are separated yet living together after a secret wedding. Congratulations to them. And congratulations to Ashley on opening a salon. What a wonderful idea. May God bless you and your business. Her parents congratulated her at a meal where they discussed, her. congratulated her on her salon, which is great because encouragement builds confidence. Great parents. No judgment, just making a point. They're great. And they they had a meal with her where they discussed her relationship with Barr. Ashley is not sure of what she might what she wants right now because they've been having challenges. Ashley's sister Chris says that Ashley is frustrated because she was going and Barr wasn't keeping up. And I know Ashley finished school. Congratulations. Barr had some challenges. I know he missed a midterm and had some challenges. Uh, but... The Bible talk, speaks about us being equally yoked. And, and there's no judgment. I wish someone had told me this when I were, was younger. The Bible says the older women teach the younger women. And that's one of the reasons Dr. Thinkenshine is here doing this ministry. But as far as being unequally yoked, that doesn't just mean both of you are saved, both of you accepted Christ. Equally yoked means the same, similar values in terms of how are we going to rear our children? Are, are we going to, what are we going to do as far as our educational goals? What are we going to do as far as our financial goals? Are we going to rent? I know they paid their rent, they said, a whole year in advance. Are we going to rent or are we going to put that up down as a down payment on a home? And then, see, because, friends, children don't know if they're rich or poor until they're maybe 10 or 11. But they know if they're loved. They know if there's peace, if there's stability, if there's no arguing and fighting. And, and, and those kinds of things. So all I'm saying is as far as being equally yoked, everything's nice. The old people say a new broom always sweeps clean. Or one of my cousins says people are on their best behavior for at least the first year. But just consider those things when you're considering the relationship. Are we equally yoked? I throw tr He throws trash down, but I don't. That can aggravate you if you have somebody just litters all the time. He wants to have his teeth extracted. I want to have mine. I want to get a root canal or I want to have a filling. And some man, some might, you might go to the dentist and spend $3,000 and then you have a wife who says, I want to put all that money across the table from the dent to the dentist. Some might say, well, I want to spend this money getting my child lessons in private driving lessons. Someone to teach them Latin so they can know the etymology of words. Whereas the other parent might want to say, well, I want them to wear a yellow shirt and yellow shoes to match. I want them to match every day. I had an aunt tell me if I had all the money I spent on clothes, I'd have something today. So equally yoked has to do with priorities, values, goals, and those are things you can discuss in terms of compatibility. But the main thing I wish someone had told me when I was younger was, seek first the kingdom of God. And I heard the scripture, but this goes to relationships too jobs, relocating, houses, cars, whether to buy, whether to rent. Uh, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything you need will be given to you. God, should I marry this boy? Or, is this, or yeah, I know we got married, but is this just for a season? Or is the season over, God? Lead me, guide me, show me the way, and just pray every day, Lord, I commit this day to you. I trust also in you, and you shall bring it to pass. Father, you will lead and guide me in the way that I should go. 
You will give me the desires of my heart, for I've chosen to keep my mind stayed on you. Make it a reality in my life as I trust in you. Help me to follow you, Lord, in Jesus' name. See, we don't have all the answers, but we can pray to someone who does. So I pray God's best and direction for Ashley and Barr. And I know she knows these things. Her mom's a pastor. This is just for the whole wide world so we can all do better. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Share this video with someone that you need. No needs to hear it. Ashley says she wants to handle the situation with her with Barr privately and delicately, as it should be. Everything's not for television. As I said, you have to be very brave to share your lives on television. And then I, Ashley, Chris, her sister, and her mom, Pastor T, went to uh, wine and paint, and they were painting and. They were asking Ashley about the bar situation, and she said she didn't want to talk about it. Then one of the producers started asking her about it, getting a little pushy with her. She said, stop asking me that. I'm done. And she left the wine and paint. Later, she cried on the phone with her sister and said she just needs time to process her marital business. And I understand that. Yes, she needs space. Yes, she needs privacy. And I pray God's blessing on them. Amen. That's Kennedy saying amen also. And on the next episode, Ashley and Barr talk nicely. Thank you, Kennedy. Thank you, Holly. And on the next episode, Ashley and Barr talk nicely about what they needed from each other. And Barr said, so they talked. It was really nice how they talked. And that's the way a relationship, I think, can be successful. If you're getting what you need and the other person gets what they need, that's what helps make it successful. So on that episode, Ashley and Barr... Thank you, Holly. Thank you, Kennedy. It's probably an Amazon delivery. On the next episode, Ashley and Barr talked nicely about what they needed from each other, and that's good. Then Barr said, now it's putting it into motion. And there is a difference between theory and practice. So we can say, theoretically, this is what we should do. And then in practice, we have to actually do it. Or in the academy, they might say praxis, P-R-A-X-I-S. So theory and praxis. So I think they're doing great. And let me just say to Ashley and Barr and to all those who are going through marital problems, anybody, you get upset with yourself sometimes, so you're going to get upset with your spouse or your partner. But I just pray that you all will have mustard seed faith. Because scripture says that if you have faith even the size of a mustard seed, that you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it shall be done, that nothing shall be impossible for you. So my prayers for mustard seed faith for all of you. So in the meantime, the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace, power, and love. More love. Boost. Yes. And 95% of people don't subscribe. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell. It won't cost you a thing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a stinking thumbs down. Don't give me a thumbs down because of my dogs, because they are protecting Dr. Thick and Shine's neighborhood. The angels are protected, but the dogs are here as well. Everything in this video is alleged and, in my opinion, and intended for entertainment and enlightenment purposes only. Let's try to stay humble and be kind, because we're all about to shine. Thanks for joining us in Dr. Thick and Shine's neighborhood.